going on guys? John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're gonna lock down our app with Django and Python. All right, like I said, in this video, we're gonna lock down our app. So in the last few videos, we've been working on registering, logging in, logging out, doing all that sort of thing. Now we wanna use that stuff to secure our app, authenticate our app, lock down our app. And by that, I mean, if we head over to, for instance, our events page, and we wanna add an event, Right now, this page is open to the world. Anybody can add an event, and we only want users to be able to do that. Same thing with venues. If we go to venues, add venue, anybody can add a venue. And if we go to events and show them, we've got this update page and anybody can update. And we don't want that, we just want registered users to be able to do that. Now in the future, we'll get even more granular in there and we'll only allow certain users to do things. Like if you created the event, only you can update it, stuff like that. We'll look at that in the future. In this video, we just wanna get a basic authentication for all of this stuff out of the way. And with Django, this is pretty easy with the built-in authentication stuff we've been looking at in the last few videos. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the in comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so if we head over to our events and look in our templates and then our events folder inside of there, we can come down and look at the nav bar. And earlier we used this if user is authenticated tag in order to change the nav bar based on whether or not the user is logged in or not. And we can use the same exact thing to basically lock down anything in our app. So I'm just gonna copy this and now let's head over to our add event page. And inside of here, this is where we can add an event. There's the form and all that good stuff. So right up here, I'm just gonna slap that right in and say, hey, if the user, if the user is authenticated, show all of this stuff, right? Otherwise, we could just come down here and let's just go else. And let's put an H1 tag and say, sorry, you must be logged in to view this page, dot, dot, dot. And if we wanted to get really serious, we could create a little link and let's say log in here, All right? And if we head over to our nav bar again and come down and just grab the login link, it's the log out link, here is the login link. I'll just copy this whole thing. Eh, we could do it like that. But really we just need this part right here. So I'll put that and there we go. Okay, and then we created this else statement. Now we need to end our if block. So let's go end if, all one word. So this corresponds to this if statement. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Head back over to the website. Let's go to our events, add event. And you, sorry, you must be logged in to view this page. Now this doesn't look great. You're gonna to wanna to make this look nicer, whatever, but you see the functionality works. Here's the login link. If we wanna log in and then go to our events, add event. Now we can add an event. Very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and log back out again so we can play around with this some more. So let's do the same thing with venues. But before we do that, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Ugh, weird commercial. Anyway, let's go back and do this for the venue stuff. So head back over to our code and let's go to, actually, I'm just gonna copy this guy. Let's go to add venue and same exact thing right up here at the top. We're just gonna paste this in, come down here, same thing, put an else and also while we're thinking of it, end our if statement. And I'm just gonna come back here and grab this same thing. Boom, boom. Paste it right into our else statement here. I might wanna indent this just to make it look nice, whatever. And it's very cool. Now we might make this into a card or something else to make it look nicer, but for now, that should do the trick. So let's head back over here, go to our venues, add venue. Sorry, you must be logged in. So, all right, next, let's look at all events. We've got this update and delete function here, right? So we definitely don't wanna be able to update or delete from this page. So we can do the same thing for these buttons and we can do the same thing for these pages themselves. So let's just go ahead and do both of those. So Head back over to the code, come back up here. And that's gonna be, looks like event list. 
So we can come down here and find those specific buttons right here. So here we could just put this in there like that. And then be sure to end our if there. So let's save this, head back over here, and let's go to our all events page. And you see now those buttons are completely gone. In fact, there's nothing there at all. So that's kind of weird. We might want to play around with that a little bit. So maybe go like this, put it right there. And same thing with this guy, put it outside of the div, save this, head back over here and hit reload. Okay, so that looks a little better. Then again, if we log in and then go to our all events, those things are back. So, okay, that looks good there. Now, if we click on this update event and come to this page, let me copy this link and log out and then go back here. Okay, we're not logged in and we could see this page. So again, same thing, we just wanna grab this and let's head over to our update event page and same deal, we'll just sort of, actually we can come over to our add venue and grab all of this and go to our update event, come back down here, just paste it all in. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, make sure that worked, hit reload here. Now notice we're not logged in. Sorry, you must be logged in. So, okay, let's try it again. Log in, go to any event, try to update it, and now we can update it. And that's really all there is to it. Now we're probably gonna wanna do the same thing here with these buttons and clicking on here, we can't actually update. So you don't have to do anything on this page, but here on the update page, we're gonna wanna do the same thing. So let's go to our venues page. And first I'm gonna copy this and let's head over to our venue.html page and find those two buttons. Actually, let's look at this page again. We might wanna take out this entire column thing here. So let's see, here's our delete button, here's our update, here's the TD, so yeah, let's do that. And after that, we will end our if, just like that. All right, so head back over here, hit reload, uh, we're logged in. So log back out, <laughs> go to venues, all venues, and that looks good, now we can't do anything there. Nothing here, so all right. So let's log back in, go to our venues, and try to update one of these. So here's an update page. Let me copy this link, log back out, go back to that link, and there it is. So one more time, let's grab this, and let's see, that's gonna be update venue. Looks good, copy this, and let's go back to any of these and copy this stuff. And update venue, just come down here, boom, paste it in. Okay, so, Save this, head back over here one more time, hit reload, boom, sorry, you must be logged in. So, okay, let's log in. Let's go admin, go to venues, all venues, update venues, and now it works. So, let's see, one last thing. We probably don't want to add event if you're not logged in. So here we logged out, go here, same thing here. So let's play around with our nav bar just a little bit. So I'm gonna grab this guy again, head over to our nav bar, and let's just look for add event. And let's just pop that in there. And if, and same thing for add venues, I'll just pop that in there. And if, all right, so head back over here, hit reload. It still drops down, but there's only one thing. We might add things to this list, this drop down list in the future, so I'll leave it like that. Same thing here and uh, looking good. So our app is now sort of locked down, sort of authenticated if we log in in the normal way. Come back over here, oh, now these things work. There are links, we can come to them, we can do things, we can look at events and we can update them or delete them or do all the things and we're good to go. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.